One treatment that I would never do as a dermatologist is a Brazilian blowout. That's because keratin treatments and other hair straightening treatments release high levels of formaldehyde, a known human carcinogen and an allergen. The FDA is currently proposing a ban on hair straightening treatments that contain formaldehyde. This is after a recent study showed a twofold increase in uterine cancer with women who regularly use hair straightening products and that can be at the salon or at home. These findings were even more pronounced in black women who use the products. Other studies have shown a similar association with use of hair straightening products containing formaldehyde and hormone responsive cancers like breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and even just a decrease in fertility. Even keratin or hair straightening products that are labeled formaldehyde free often contain methylene glycol, which when exposed to the air actually turns into formaldehyde gas. I applaud the FDA proposed ban on formaldehyde containing hair straighteners. You know, again, this is an association. Um, it's not clear that just the formaldehyde is the culprit in all of this. There are certainly lots of other chemicals in these hair straightening and keratin products, including parabens and phthalates, which are known endocrine mimickers. And so we really don't know what role they might be playing in a lot of these hormone responsive cancers. I think it's a step in the right direction. I, for one, ha never can use a Brazilian blowout or a hair straightening product because I have a known rash, an allergic contact to formaldehyde and formaldehyde releasing products. It's a really common allergen. A lot of people have this issue. Look in a lot of your skin and hair care products, they have formaldehyde releasers and they work as an antimicrobial and a preservative. If you have an allergy to these formaldehyde releasing ingredients, you're going to get a big rash and maybe even have like a little difficulty breathing if there's some in the air. As the hair straightening products usually will say it contains formaldehyde, formalin, or methylene glycol, when it's used as a preservative, oftentimes it's difficult to identify because they go as many different names. Um, the most common are DMDM Hanantoin, Quaternarium 15, and lots of other very long complicated names. If you know that you have a skin allergy to formaldehyde and formaldehyde releasing chemicals, it's best actually just to Google the list and carry it around with you when you're shopping for new products.